All right, hey Nini, we have been doing really well in Res League so far, and a lot of viewers have asked me if what we do to prepare, what is our strategy, who helps us prepare, and I thought you could spend a few minutes just walking us through it. So I see you have your spreadsheet up. Hi, Cor. Yeah, so um, our, our, our strategy came from uh, input from the team, so everybody is part of it. Uh, what I do personally before each game is I take everybody's uh, availability for each game. I think that it's important that we start with a full team. And if somebody is not available, that we will also have the reservist who will be able to pop in. It's very important to always have uh, 30 players. Then, uh, as you can see, we split uh, into three teams. That's our strategy and uh, each team is allocated certain buildings um, for the gathering stage we have gatherers assigned we have a rally leader assigned to each building um, how do we decide who's going to go where we also have um, the stats you can see on the spreadsheet mm -hmm. of uh, every player in the alliance and how strong they are so we can use that as a basis of who goes where <clears throat> Okay. And then uh, we also have a list for first occupation. Then I think the most important thing is that everybody knows their role and doesn't overstep, but just support. Uh, so <clears throat> we have uh, here the building names. So we will say, for example, at the start, all the team one will port to a certain location. And then after death compound munitions and center open, there is a change again. And it's just knowing where you will be at each time and to keep communicating. We use uh, voice chat. I think that's very helpful, especially for the rally leaders to coordinate a double rally when it's needed. And also for everybody to know what's going, because we have uh, we have yourself and me and Aura streaming mm -hmm. from the team. It's also nice that the team's able to hop on our um, stream and listen in. Yep. and engage better with what's going on in our nice. uh yeah so that's a bit of how uh we organize our in ops okay how do you keep up with all their stats with everything i mean it can change on a daily basis yeah so uh roughly we know the strength of each uh rally leader because they remain strong but that could be uh, some differences for uh, like the gathering team because they are not necessarily uh, max players but they are very strong mm -hmm. so uh, we set up uh, like a little farmer headquarters where everybody uh, attacks and then I can note down their stats here and we don't do that so frequently but I think it's important before uh, the important matches to get an updated uh, list so you know perhaps somebody is stronger than the other person now or they max the hero that they hadn't before uh, and also it's helpful like uh, you ha I have one player here highlighted because he asked oh how am I faring against the other rally leaders what should be my focus to upgrade next so not only for RR but in general it's good for you to know um, the strength of your uh, team yeah I think the new battle reports, the new analytics behind them with the recent update, that'll help with some of that as well, as far as individual rally leaders who want to get know what areas they need to be stronger in, since it'll compare them to their opponents. How long? Yeah, for sure. How long does it take you, you normally to get everything set up? Uh, um, usually, like, uh, everybody helps. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if I am doing a... Usually somebody else, another R4, will do the availability part. So that should take uh, one hour or something. Mm -hmm. And then uh, to take the stats, that may take a couple of hours. It always depends if the if the team is uh, following uh, the instructions that we're asking, then we don't need to check who's missing and what needs to be done because everybody does their part, really. So it, it's work that takes a couple of hours. But later on, you sort of already know by heart. For example, we didn't have to update the stats up until we got now to the playoffs in group. Yeah. Just because we wanted to be better prepared. But before the playoffs, we didn't prepare so much. Okay. 
Nice. And uh, this map here specifically, I mean, do you just use basic computer software to edit it, to add all the, the text and everything? I don't remember King's group or, or anyone sending us over a blank spreadsheet on something like this. All right, okay, so this one is quite basic. If you go into, everybody can check on the calendar, uh, the reservoir raid, there's a little guide there. Mm -hmm. So I just took a screenshot from the guide mm -hmm. and then on paint, I put uh, the okay. name of the building so the team would know because uh, a lot of the times we say like, or reinforce WTC1 or first occupation WTC1 and it's important for the team to know what is WTC1? Because uh, you don't have time to necessarily say which building all the time, the long name. Yeah. So we just abbreviate all of them and then uh, we share with the team so they can get familiar with uh, what building is called what. Okay, awesome. I mean, everyone should have access to paint, right? Right, okay. I think so. <laughs> Got it. No, this is awesome. Uh, <laughs> I think, I think it's good to, to be able to show people, you know, if you invest a little bit of time and preparation, that it can make a big difference since we are well on our way to a minimum top eight, in my opinion. And, you know, last question before we wrap up. I mean, if you just had to pick, you know, one person who was probably the most important in the whole team, uh, I, I don't know, who, who do you think that would be? No, I'm just totally kidding. You don't have to answer that. So, 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 so uh, it, the, that would have to be Nini. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, there you go. There you go. So, I, and everyone, that, I don't think you could function, function without her. I couldn't agree Honestly, more. Honestly, everybody is important because if you don't have 30 Definitely. players, you'll be struggling. If you don't have people gathering or people joining your teams, like we say, a yeah. rally leader is nothing without a joiner. Agreed. So every, everybody, we need the 30 people. Yeah, couldn't agree more. No, that's awesome. Uh, the plan, it's, it's working. We're doing well. If anyone ever has any questions or needs any help, feel free to reach out to Nini or myself. So, thank you. Yep, thank you. Mm -hmm.